Good morning. Welcome back to the bright side here on 10 Tampa Bay. So getting you updated, ready to go with the tropics. Here's what we got going on all across the Atlantic Basin right now. What we are seeing is activity. So that means and it signals to us that we got a long way to go still left in hurricane season. So please, guys, keep that in mind. We do have Invest 98L that has an 80 percent chance for development over the next week. So that's going to be the one area that I keep a very close eye on. It's an area of broad, low pressure that has a good probability of spinning up into a tropical system over the next seven days. Outside of that, Margo still meandering out there as a fish storm, aka not impacting any sort of landmass anytime soon. So Margo just doing its thing out there. It'll continue to dissipate and weaken and then become a remnant low and out of here. Now to our hair. Now saving the best for last is going to be Hurricane Lee. And by best, I mean the strongest. So it's a category three and it's forecast to weaken a little bit. So the latest advisory coming in from the National Hurricane Center at 5 a.m. showing us that the track really not shifting very much. Of course, the more it shifts west, the more impacts will be felt for New England, and that is something that they need to keep an eye on here closely as we head into this weekend. For Florida, no threat for us here locally. That's great as the system will continue to move northward and then potentially making landfall somewhere along Canada to Maine as we head into early Sunday. So that is going to be what we're our eye on in the tropics over the next couple of days with models in really great agreement of that landfall being somewhere between Maine to Canada. However, impacts will be felt from Long Island all the way to Canada because of how strong the system is. But coming up, we'll have more on this and also your local forecast all next.